There you are. What's the crack? Be coming to anything you hear. This is part two of how I guarantee you can become a millionaire. If you haven't checked out part one and you don't understand how money works, subscribe to the page, like this video, and uh, jump on my page and check it out. But uh, this is part two. This is the Bitcoin bit. Okay? And uh, that's what we're going to chat about this morning. It is a dirty day and I'm in a very clean car. And that gives me a bit of anxiety, but my car is actually going to the detailer to, uh, to get some work done. So it's his problem that it's going to be filthy. <laughs> but uh, anyway, okay. So the in yesterday's video, we talked about how I can guarantee you can become a millionaire. And it's just by simply understanding money and understanding that the basement is, uh, is predictable, guaranteed, and, and will happen and always happens. And um, and I gave the example of uh, my father's house. He bought that property for twenty thousand punts, so whatever that is in euros, thirty thousand euros. But but today that property is probably worth eight hundred grand. Okay, so it wasn't like a double. So you know, typical property prices in Dublin now they're over five hundred grand. All they have to do is double. You don't think they're going to double in the next ten years, twenty years? Okay, so everyone's becoming a millionaire. All right, and my point was just to teach you about how money works so you can understand that being a millionaire is not enough anymore. Okay, unfortunately it's not. Uh, if your goal is to become a millionaire, you're aiming far too low because everyone's gonna be a millionaire, but they're gonna be less wealthy as someone uh, today who's worth 500 grand. And uh, once you understand that, you're able to position yourself and, uh, and protect your future, okay? And think like a wealthy person and make investments like wealthy people. Just to summarise, we talked about money and that, Jesus, the roads are flooded, lads, and that what we think of money, like the euro, the dollar, the pound, is actually a terrible form of money, and property forms as a better source of money. So anyone who has money, okay, once you have your own property that you live in, rather than saving up money and putting it in the bank, or you can take on more risk, okay, and take out what's called leverage or debt, you buy a second property, you buy an investment property, and, uh, and you sort of have to do that in this modern age of money because the money is so bad. If you don't adopt property as money, life becomes really difficult for you. Now, there's other sources of money that you can adopt. And this might be a bit abstract how I'm saying this. So hopefully you can, you can make the step to see why I'm calling property money. And if you, can, if you can't, make sure you go back and watch video one. I could also call the stock market money because the stock market is a better form of money than the euro. And what I mean by that is, if you rotate and instead of saving in money, you save in stocks, let's say you just save in the S&P index, well, you average something like 12% over the last 30 years, okay? Versus if you sat in the euro, the thing just went down in value over the last 20 years. It lost, I think it's lost 50% of its value in 20 years or something like that. So the stock market is better money than money, and also uh, the property market is better money than money. Now, you guys know I have no interest in the stock market, personally, and I've no interest, well, I won't say I have no interest in the property market, I do, I have some commercial property, okay, and it's used for business, and we, we lease out some rooms, and that's just because I need the commercial property uh, for the business. But if I didn't have that need for the commercial property, and I was just allocating capital, meaning I was putting investments into something, I wouldn't be interested in commercial property, okay? Simply because there's a new form of property now which outperforms every other form of money that there was previously on the planet okay it's called bitcoin and it's got so many advantages that regular pieces of property and regular pieces of money don't uh, afford you one of the beautiful things about bitcoin and why i'm very passionate about it and i try and push this content out and i try and get it i down this seat my arse is starting to, to get hot <laughs> One of the reasons I'm really passionate about trying to push this content out to people younger than me is because you guys have it so tough, okay? You'll notice to get on the physical property ladder now, it's albeit impossible, okay? And that's why, you know, it's obvious there's going to be social unrest in this country. We're going to trend towards socialism because people just can't afford it. So they're going to have to get frustrated and angry like we've seen happen in Dublin there a couple of months ago or a month ago, okay? So there's a, there's a general anger in people. Uh, there was a viral, viral video from a gentleman who all his children now, none of them live in Ireland. They've all had to leave Ireland. And when he asked them, why are you leaving? Their answer was, because it's hopeless here. We can never afford a house. 
we've got to go somewhere else where property is cheaper okay so that's how i know we trend towards socialism your taxes are going to go up your government is going to take away your privacy uh, and your freedoms and um and there will be social unrest and it's just because the money system was called all this all, all this and it's a totally uh, alternate point but Bitcoin fixes it and that's why I'm passionate about building on Bitcoin that's why I put out so much content on Bitcoin that's why I have a business I've multiple businesses now in this space because I'm building the world I want to see rather than just complaining about it which I will help highlight the points of everything that's wrong with it but rather than just complaining about it or asking a politician to fix it when I know full well politicians only ever make things worse I'm just fixing it myself I'm building the world I want to see and you should do the same Okay, because once you understand Bitcoin, you realize it's a solution to all the world's problems and you get to help fix it. And it makes you bloody rich at the same time. So you're financially incentivized to fix the world. It's like a beautiful uh, set of incentives. So the reason why Bitcoin is better form of property, someone can't buy a house today. A young person can't buy a house. Okay, and a house will double in value. Okay, but Bitcoin could double in value by the end of this year. All right. Physical property will not do that. Physical property will double in value over decades and triple and quadruple and go up, you know, many thousands of percent, but it'll be over decades. In the next five years, Bitcoin can achieve what my father's house took two decades to achieve in capital appreciation, okay? And the other great thing about Bitcoin for everyone, because it's all inclusive, okay? You can start your Bitcoin strategy, your Bitcoin pension, your Bitcoin early retirement, with any amount, there's no minimum investment, okay? And when I, I remember being an investor, I remember my first day when I decided I was gonna become an investor, and I rang up a, a money manager with my investment, and I can't remember the figure. It, I, I'm thinking it was like 30 quid. 30 quid a month I wanted to invest. And this guy laughed me off the phone, because he was like, a day, 30 quid a day, is that it? And I'm like, uh, no, I, I think I could scrape together 30 quid a month. Now, this is going back two decades, okay? But he had no interest in that. He had no products for that. Today, if someone has 30 euros a month that they can save or inflation adjust it, it's probably like 200 quid today. <laughs> so if you have 200 quid a month that you, can, that you can invest, you can start building your own Bitcoin uh, investment, your own Bitcoin property portfolio, your own Bitcoin retire early, your own Bitcoin pension. And that's the beauty of this thing, okay? Because when I price residential property, or I price by commercial property, or any of the other properties, okay, on the planet, they're all losing to Bitcoin. None of them are keeping up with Bitcoin, okay? When you price everything in the world in Bitcoin, okay, you realize that everything is falling against the value of Bitcoin, everything. Is there volatility? Yes, there is. If you're a short-term thinker, if you're one of these people that wants to lose weight so they buy pills on the internet instead of actually doing some fucking work, <laughs> well, well, then you probably don't get Bitcoin, all right? But if you're a little bit smarter than that, you understand that everything in life is called proof of work. You do the work, you get the result. You don't do the work, you complain about it. You, tough luck, that's life, okay? <clears throat> but if you're able to transition your mindset and be, understand delayed gratification, Okay, understand you can retire yourself in 10 years and you probably won't in a year, but you'll just continually blow up and destroy money by trying to do it in a year and trying to do to get rich quick and trying to find an altcoin that's gonna solve all your problems or some new tech stock or whatever the scam. Okay, or get someone to do it for you. None of that stuff works. But if you can start pricing Bitcoin, put yourself onto a Bitcoin standard, you realize that life becomes very easy. While everyone else in your network is complaining about the cost of living, your cost of living is going down and it's going down a lot. And every five years, your cost of living goes down a heap, okay? Or even every four years. And if you follow this channel, you understand why that happens, how that happens, and the actual structural dynamics of what creates that situation. And uh, there's no guarantee it continues forever, but for the last 15 years of Bitcoin, it has worked predictably and guaranteed. And uh, if I look at the fundamentals, it looks like it is guaranteed to continue for the next decade or 15 years. And that's just my opinion, okay? Nothing you hear is financial advice. You do you, it's your money. You figure out what to do with it, okay? And whatever investments you make, if they make you loads of money, that's your fault. And if they lose your money, it's also your fault because taking responsibility is the only way you get ahead in life. And the reason I have to say this isn't financial advice is because most people are morons and they won't take responsibility for their actions. 
so they'll do something stupid and then they'll try and blame someone else okay so nothing here you hear is financial advice if you want actual advice from me go and book in and become a client this is just my generic uh, brain dump to try and help people learn but unfortunately you know we have negative people we have toxic people I get toxic people in my comments all the time and just here's a totally side point some people will listen to everything I say and they'll pick one bad thing out of it and they'll choose that's going to be my comments I've got a nitpick these people come at you every day of your life the more successful you are the more of them will come at you you've got to be above them guys okay you've got to have absolute positivity and belief in yourself that none of these people affect you and rather than having an effect on you they either motivate you okay they can piss you off and they can motivate you all right and inspire you to do more build bigger earn more money get a newer car whatever okay so use them as your inspiration okay or just feel sorry for them because you know that <clears throat> we were all there I was there myself where I used to get jealous of people you know and I would have been the fool doing the silly comments going ah yeah well I'll nitpick and find this one little thing because hopefully that will like hurt that person and pull them back to my level so now I feel sorry for people who find little flaws don't let them stop you march through it get inspired by them or feel sorry for them that's it but don't let them change your decisions or your mindset and the more successful you are the more you put yourself out there the more hate you will attract and if I'm not pissing someone off <laughs> I know I'm not hustling hard enough I know I'm not marketing hard enough so that's a total side point but guys remember the journey to success isn't easy everyone will want to pull you back to their level no one likes to see you getting ahead we don't as humans okay my friend is my friend but until he starts doing better than me then maybe he's not my friend unless I'm actually a real friend then I'm happy for him even if I'm doing terrible my friends doing amazing I'm absolutely delighted but for that that's how you know who your real friends are okay so by understanding Bitcoin and choosing to use Bitcoin as a better form of money than the euro than property than the stock market than gold than bonds than every other form of money you can use okay I think you put yourself in an asymmetric opportunity because Bitcoin has just gone gone from being this fringe asset to begin its mainstream adoption okay we're beginning what's called the hyperbolic stage of s-curve adoption so how technologies are adopted is exponentially and I done this with our retire early club last night I made them a little video and I just put it in the group because people are talking about oh I heard the stock market's gonna crash and should I wait and all this other nonsense and I suppose I shouldn't call it nonsense because some people are technical into technical analysis and they want to try and trade and pick up the best bargains but the vast majority of retail people like you and me we aren't professional traders the odds of trading in Bitcoin and crypto is 99% failure rate now that was a figure I used to say it was 98 but that was a figure told to me from someone who's been in Bitcoin since 2010 okay a market maker someone who actually trades okay but what they do with is they've got proprietary systems that they actually just take money off all the retail traders and uh, this guy's even said to me you know morally it's a bit of a like I know it's uh, <laughs> what we're doing here isn't ideal morally but it's just a game it's just capitalism it's just the world and therefore you sh if you're a retail person you should not trade because we will take all your money and we have done this <laughs> you know this guy's been in Bitcoin since 2010 people okay so that's why I say don't trade don't try and trade traders are losers because statistically uh, uh, they are and it's a, lo it's a losing game so that's why I don't encourage people but as I price Bitcoin is on a logarithmic chart okay here's a little exercise for you and if you like this content by the way I haven't asked you for your daily exercise today yet give the index finger a little stretch before I give you dinny, a dinny bomb approach the like button find it and press it and while you're doing that I won't take a sip of water because my water bottle is down in the floor well there where I can't reach it and if you wonder some people wonder why I take sips of water all the time all the time it's because I talk all day every day my my business my careers are all speaking okay so I have to talk all day every I have to drink water all the time or my voice uh, my throat gets sore and uh, eventually I lose my voice and I can feel that happening now and I have no water so I'm gonna have to end this video soon because I've got a stack day of meetings all day building plans to retire early consulting all sorts of magic stuff but my dinny bomb okay and I didn't see too many likes coming in there so what that tells me is you're a lurker okay and you can't be a lurker I want you to be active when you're told to do something okay or asked to do something do it because what it's going to do is your social media is going to show you more of these videos if you're getting value out of it 
if you don't tell the social media, then it's going to show you more dumbass reels and stuff that just are time vampires and ruin your life and ruin your success. So tell the social media, I'm going to learn about what Dini's telling me here. This is good shit. And you can do that by hitting the like button. You can also copy the link and paste it into your WhatsApp groups. Paste it to your family. Try and get them to figure out money because people, you think the cost of living is bad, is, is bad now? You've no idea what's coming in the next five and ten years. You study money and you realise Bitcoin is your absolute uh, parachute and the plane, both engines have failed. The plane is just on glide mode at the moment. All right. Now, it'll take you a couple of years to actually understand money deep enough and macro uh, to see the situation you're in. But you need to learn about Bitcoin. And the bait and switch I use to teach people about Bitcoin is, listen, this thing is just going to make you rich. And people are interested in getting rich. So that's my bait and switch. I'm like, I teach you how to get rich. And then I've actually taught you how to affect and save your future. The Dini bomb, the final Dini bomb. Bitcoin is growing exponentially, okay? Exponential growth. Technologies that grow exponentially go through what's called Metcalfe's law, or the S-curve law of adoption. Meaning the first initial stage is quite slow and all the incumbents, meaning whatever this technology is going to disrupt, well, all the incumbents are incentivized to try and slow down the growth of the technology. So that, and this is exactly what you see, people. Bitcoin bad. Bitcoin no good. Bitcoin can't be trusted. Don't touch Bitcoin. That's been the media narrative for 15 years. And this year, 2024, that has just started to change. Okay? Now we're actually seeing positive Bitcoin things. Now we're seeing huge corporations advertise Bitcoin and educate the world about Bitcoin. Why? Because it's in their financial incentive because they're now selling products built on Bitcoin. So now we're about to enter the hyperbolic stage of the S-curve. So imagine an S. What's the shape of an S? It's the, and then it goes up and then around. Okay, so the first stage is slow, and then the middle stage is rapid. And that's where Bitcoin starts to get adopted really fast. And that's like how mobile phones were adopted. All right, first are pagers. Pagers were first used by drug dealers and criminals. Why? Because these people are smarter than normal people. And they get on early technology sooner than most people. Okay, they'd make brilliant investors if they, <laughs> if they tidied up their act, they'd realize that their ability to be flexible in their thinking and embrace new things would make them fantastic investors. And it would be better to be an investor than a drug dealer. <laughs> but I digress. So the S-curve of adoption means things are slow in the beginning and we are now entering the hyperbolic stage where things start to grow really, really fast. Okay? And that's coming, I believe that kicks off this year. I believe we've already seen it because last year Bitcoin rallied 170%. We hadn't even got a spot ETF. This year we're going into a halving event and that's why it's, I think, the biggest financial opportunity of anyone's life is to pay attention to this. And not paying attention to it means everything in the macro world, the normal world, is going to get so much more difficult. So eventually everyone's going to have to pay attention to this. But it's like some people will do it this year, some people done it last year, some people done it three years ago. Some people won't do it for five years because they're going to be squeezed so hard. And some people might do it for eight or nine or ten years and life is going to be absolutely miserable for them um, and they will have huge regret that if they actually were lucky enough to consume this content and didn't take it seriously. Most, most people just aren't aware of this content because look, we've 25 people watching this content so the majority of the world doesn't see it. So if you go onto CoinGecko today, okay, and you can do this for yourself, your family, okay, or anyone who doesn't understand Bitcoin to actually talk with a sense of them. Okay, go onto CoinGecko, just Google CoinGecko Right, it'll open up, click Bitcoin, click all. You'll see Bitcoin's chart. You'll see Bitcoin's chart, okay? And it'll show the whole of Bitcoin's history. Now you'll see a tiny little blip way back in 2012. It doesn't even register on the chart today. Then you'll see a blip in 2017 when it looks like Bitcoin went up and then it lost all its money and everyone lost all their money. And then you'll see another blip in 2020 when it went up and, and then it crashed and it looks horrendous. And then it went again. And then it crashed even further and now it's going up again. And now to look at that on a linear chart, it just looks like a mess. It looks, looks like Bitcoin's too volatile for me. You know, I, what I'll do is I'll regurgitate all the media narratives, all the things that people who haven't studied Bitcoin say, okay? Oh, it's too volatile. It's too risky. You know all this other nonsense? People haven't studied it. There's no one who's studied Bitcoin that doesn't own Bitcoin. The only people who've studied Bitcoin and don't own Bitcoin, although they secretly do, are people who are financially incentivized. Okay, so if you own a big bank, you're going to say Bitcoin bad. And you probably personally own a bit, just in case Bitcoin's not bad. But in the media, you'll say Bitcoin bad. If you own a company that sells gold, what the hell do you think you're going to say? Do you think Blockbuster were telling everyone to cancel their, to not buy uh, DVDs anymore and just open Netflix accounts? course not so if you own a company selling gold 
of course you're going to say digital gold the product that is going to disrupt physical gold and make it obsolete you're going to say it's terrible okay so you have to understand incentives because incentives rule the outcome so but if you change that chart people if you change that chart instead of viewing it on a linear on a, a linear chart you actually change it to log now what a log chart does is it allows for a technology that's grown exponentially if you change bitcoin's chart from linear go and do this if you don't believe me don't trust verify verify for yourself if you change bitcoin's chart from the linear chart that it'll instinctively come up okay that's what it naturally comes up at but if you click log chart you now see bitcoin chart goes from this look choppiness not really sure when i should buy or how this thing's working you change to a log chart it looks like this look da -da -da -da. it's a lot it's going straight up basically it's a much less scary chart where am i going now i'm looking for the buff shop lads what time is it 10 to 10 we're early i like to be early oh there's jerry's vehicle meeting a fellow entrepreneur for uh, a bit of lunch or a bit of breakfast after this and then getting stuck into my meetings where's this buff shop oh there we are Feel sweet okay let me just get this motor parked lads so what I want you to do is change change the uh, let's put this over here a bit change how you view Bitcoin's chart from linear to a log chart and you get a totally different perspective and that's why I don't try and time the markets I don't try to buy Bitcoin low and sell it high you just don't understand what's happening if you're trying to do that you're making a mistake you're a retail investor you should come to the Bitcoin Ireland event Bitcoin Ireland conference on the 25th of May because I'm hoping to have uh, one of my mates who's an actual venture capital investor setting up a new fund investing heavily in the space I'm hoping he's going to come here and teach all retail people listen this is how you actually invest this is how you price things you don't look at the price of something you look at the adoption you look at Metcalf's law okay you look at fundamental analysis and you position your capital and you sit in your ass for 10 years and you get filthy rich and that's it that's how vcs get rich okay but i'm not going to tell you that i'm going to get someone who's done it to tell you that at the bitcoin Ireland event early bird tickets are still available I haven't even started promoting the event yet having a time but uh go and get your early bird ticket it's going to be an absolutely awesome event and um, also going to have a tax guy there and this is for another video but this guy uh, will say to me or, or this guy's saying is okay this guy in the uk paying tax in the uk is optional it's fully optional to pay tax in the uk all right provided you can afford the advice on how to do it <laughs> and that's it so rich people don't take pay tax it's only middle class who pay all the tax okay because wealthy people are, can afford the advice on how to structure things tax efficiently or to take their tax away okay and you can see that so that's how the world works uh, i'm hoping to have this guy speaking at the bitcoin ireland conference so we're going to have some awesome alpha at that event for you get your early bird tickets while they're available go on to eventbrite and grab one now understand bitcoin figure out bitcoin look at a log chart to figure out where bitcoin's going and how it's working uh, instead of daily volatility don't be a short-term tinker and uh, if you need any help as always bitcoinwithdinny.com google my website get onto it check out our reviews we have 120 odd positive reviews um and uh, you can see how we've helped other people retire early have a super day guys Vinny out for now